This is a good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Okay, I hope that answers the question. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Oh my god. I literally slept like three and a half hours. Let's go look outside a minute here. It is cold and wet. At least I can finally hear all the snow and the ice melting. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but like you can hear the icicles dripping all over the place. I can hear water actually flowing somewhere. <laughs> so that means I'm going to be able to get out here and uh, shovel the rest of my car out today. I can't believe how silent it is out here right now. But my feeties are cold, so let's get in the house. <sighs> yeah. I'm definitely getting used to that buttery taste of the Bulletproof coffee. I'd be lying if I said I don't miss my sugar. <laughs> this morning we're gonna sit back in the comfy chair. Look at this. I had to sleep on the couch last night. I actually, my pillows are at this end right now, but I actually had them up in this nook right here. And my neck was like, <sighs> oh yes, time to wake up. Got some more comforting lights on here instead of that god-awful ceiling light. <sighs> but yes, I slept on the couch last night because when I got up yesterday morning, I immediately stripped my bed because I thought, okay, I need to wash these things today. I stripped them off, I got them all ready, and I never made it down there <laughs> to wash the things. But I didn't realize until last night after Wally had been here and I finished up what I was doing in my office and editing and uploading my other video. I walked in there, I was so dead tired and ready to just fall into the bed. And here's a big ball of blankets and sheets and pillowcases. So I just grabbed a couple of them and headed out here. That was at like 2.30 a.m. So why in the world am I back up at 6? Well, mm, that is one reason. <laughs> I woke up because I was so uncomfortable. I flipped my pillows on the other end of the couch. And then I picked up my phone. You know, that's one problem. When I wake up in the middle of the night, I always have to try not to pick up my phone. Because then I want to look at YouTube and Facebook, you know, and start reading comments and things. And <laughs> the first two comments I saw were, where's the coffee? And so I immediately thought, mmm, coffee. And it is well worth it. Three hours of sleep, I don't even care. This is so tasty. And you know, this is what I always loved about early, early mornings. I always hated it when I had to get up early and get dressed and ready and get out the door and get to work on time and pray to God there's nothing wrong with my car or any traffic, ice, or snow. And most of the time, I was rolling in there, clocking in right at 7 a.m. I might have to have a second cup this morning. But I'm so glad I don't have to do that anymore. And I had fallen into this habit of sleeping in. And a lot of times I will sleep in until like 11 o'clock, sometimes even 12. And I hate that. I mean, don't get me wrong, it feels good. It feels good when you wake up at 5 or 6 in the morning and you can go, oh my god, yes, I can go back to sleep. But the problem with that is that once you've slept in until 11 o'clock or 12 or whatever, those are hours that are wasted. You get up at 11 or 12 o'clock, it's 1 o'clock before you know it. It's already afternoon. You're not even awake yet. When I roll out of bed at 5 or 6 in the morning, I get started on things. I hit the floor running after my deliciousness. And by the time 11 o'clock rolls around where I would usually be sleeping in, I've already done an entire day's worth of work. So that's what I like about getting up early. Plus, I love how quiet it is. Just like when I stepped out on the porch and I could hear the water dripping off the icicles wherever it was flowing from. I could hear it trickling down the neighbor's spout over here. And then you got birds chirping. And amazingly, this morning there was no traffic out there. A little bit of fog, but I didn't hear one car. But that's just one of the awesome things about getting up early before the whole world wakes up. 
So yes, I have so much to do today. This entire house is just a disaster. As you guys know, I film these one day ahead of time, so today is Sunday morning. So I have today to dedicate to finishing my office, getting everything else down here cleaned up, everything that was in my office taken upstairs because I'm going to make another office up there so I can keep eBay and YouTube separate. It just really helps me to, uh, to focus better if my surroundings are directly related to, you know, what my focus is at that time. So making an eBay office upstairs and having a YouTube office down here, I'll really be able to focus better on just simply eBay when I'm up there, you know, taking pictures and working with the merchandise and just keeping all that stuff organized and being in eBay mode. But I'm also trying to create a space up there where my dad can come over and work with me. I have faster internet over here and, uh, and I just have a better grip on what's going on on eBay so I can help him out a lot. And I basically run the bulk of his eBay business anyway, so. But then, yeah, down here, this office strictly YouTube. I cannot wait to show it to you guys. It's coming along so awesome. Wally got a first look at it last night. So guys, I saved the very best thing for last here. I know you're wondering what the hell is this guy jibber jabbering about the whole time. As I told you before, my daughter and my son-in-law got me this cup for Christmas to let me know that they have another baby coming. And yesterday they sent me a picture of the ultrasound. So this is the very first look we have at my new grandbaby. We don't know the sex yet, and I personally live in a world where we have males and females. So it's either going to be a boy or a girl. I'm so excited to find out. I don't even know when that's going to be, but hopefully soon. So let's all pray everything goes perfect with the pregnancy, and we have a good healthy baby coming. And here's to that little swaddler. <sighs> I'm sure I have plenty of babysitting days ahead. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I've got tons to do today, plus I heard some kind of a thud in my basement. It's probably a monster. Wherever you're waking up, whatever time it is, even if you have monsters in your basement, make the best of your day. Do something for somebody else, pay it forward, and let's make this world a better place. I will see you guys tomorrow with more coffee. Peace. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life